everybody it is Charlotte with Charlotte plans and I wanted to just kind of show you one of the tools that I use to figure out when I will be out of debt and um, to figure out my estimated payoff dates and things like that for my budget notebook and I kind of go in here every couple months and update it and things like that um, but since it's the beginning of the new year, I wanted to kind of come in here and do that, especially since I just paid off my car and wanted to kind of calculate all of that now that that is paid off because that paying $2,600 off or $2,600 towards debt is a drastic change in the amount of stuff and uh, will definitely change my debt free date. So I am in undebt it okay i'll leave the link down below or put it right down here um it is u n d e b t dot i t and it is a free tool that you can use you can of course get uh, the premium version to uh, where you can come in here and do customizable payoff plans and things like that and all of that type of stuff but i went ahead and um, went through on all of these and put it put in sorting numbers and things like that so I was able to come in here and do a custom sort and I'm starting next month which is January of 2018 and right here this is the amount that I am estimated to put towards debt so that includes my minimum payments for my city card my MasterCard, and all of my student loans and in here they all of my student loans are separated. I have five student loans and um, all of them have different amounts and things like that. And over here it has the snowball amount. So um, it calculates the right here the minimum payment plus the snowball amount. And since I paid off my car that is $189.89 and um, a couple Sent or a couple dollars here and there because the MasterCard minimum payment has gone down as the outstanding balance goes down. So I'm taking that extra, I think it was 172, so that's an extra four dollars or something like that, and using that to go towards the snowball amount as well. So hopefully, if I can just maintain doing putting all of the 189.89 towards the current debt that I'm trying to pay off which is my city card that is a total of $241.37 every single month towards city card and that is giving me an estimated payoff date of March of 2019. I am actually hoping to have that paid off by the end of 2018 because um, this does not include me getting my tax re uh, tax return back or any year in bonus Christmas money that I'm going to use or birthday money that I'm going to use to put towards all of the debt and everything. Um, so that this of course will change when I do my income tax return and get my tax return and things like that and um, also will depend on how much I with the new tax laws and everything, how much I will actually be taking home. I'm fairly certain that I will have a slight increase in my take home pay um, because of the new tax laws, because of the tax cuts and things like that. So, so this tells you how much every single month you're putting towards the debts, things like that. And as you scroll through, you'll see the payoff date. So March 20th, March of 2019 for my city card for my Bank of America card it is saying February of 2021 one of my student loans it's going to be December of 2021 and the next student loan September of 2022 the next one is 2023 of October of 2023 then the next one is December of 2025 and then the last one will be December of 2025. And that will make me 45. And one of my financial long-term financial goals is to have 
all of my debts paid off by the time I am 45. I would like to have them paid off by the time I'm 42. So as it's standing right now, without putting any income taxes or bonuses or Christmas money, birthday money, not putting any of that, just taking my standard amount that I have been paying towards debt, which is a, um, around 677 every single month. If I just continue to do that and put that amount towards all of my debts, I will be debt free. Well, up here, it says November of 2025. So, and my current balance is at $52,738. And it says I have five transactions that need to be need to happen, but they are not until January. So, and they are all my student loans right now. So I'm not going to process those until they're paid because I'm, that's just the way I am. I don't process things until they get paid. But there are things in here where you have your dashboard and um, it says your active debt account summary and things like that. So you can scroll over and see the current balances and things like that current interest rates, the minimum payment on all of them, the current monthly interest rates, months to pay off. So it, can, it will tell you this one right here, my second consolidated loan will take 96 months, which is math, does not compute, <laughs> is eight years. <clears throat> so, I really don't want to be paying debt for another eight years. I really don't. I really don't. I'm 37. I it's I've been able to pay off within a year and a few months. I've been able to now pay off three debts. So my Kohl's card, my Target card, and now my car loan. My next debt right now is my city card. And as I said, I want to have that one paid off as close as possible by the end of December. So if I have a couple hundred dollars going over into 2019, I'm not going to be mad at myself or anything like that. I would like to have the vast majority of the $3,300, $3,400 paid off. So I'd like to have it down to where all I have is at least $500 left to pay off on that credit card. And if that's, I won't hurt myself. Like I said, <laughs> I, I will be happy with that because it's like, I know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and then I will be able to work on the MasterCard. And that one I would like to have paid off by the end of 2019. So that way I can have focus on putting money towards my student loans and also a retirement plan because Currently, I have a 401k, but I'm not able to put any money towards it right now because it's with my previous employer. So I would like to actually have a retirement plan that I am able to put money to, to and actually feel comfortable in that I will have something to retire on eventually. Um, so that is why I would like to have my all of my debts paid off by the time I'm 42. So that way I can start pushing hot and heavy on putting stuff into retirement because it is kind of late for me, but I want to be able to put a vast majority of, like, if I could be able to put $800 every single month into a retirement plan, that would be awesome. Flat out awesome um, for the next so many years or something like that because, you know, I'm almost, I'm getting close to my 40s and uh, most people don't want to have workers until they're workers in their 60s or 70s working there. And um, so, yeah, it's I'd like to be able to have stuff going into retirement so that way I am not having to work in my 70s, 80s, 90s. If I can live that long, I hope I do. It'd be nice to live that long. Um, but there are just other things down here. So transactions. So you can see that on the 27th, I I don't know why that says the 29th because it was paid on the 23rd. 
me see if I can go and amend that. And it doesn't look like I can amend it. Payment history. Oh well, it's not gonna let me amend it right now. So I'm okay with that. Um, but I did do the payment on the 23rd of 189.89 and then on the 27th, I was able to figure out what my payoff amount was and I just paid it off. I had the money. I it was a little bit more than I had anticipated, but I just I had the money from a bonus and Christmas money and stuff like that. So I just went ahead and took the plunge and paid for it because it needed it needs to be done. So um, but you can go in here, credit util utilization, and do all of these where you're spending all your money and uh, payoff plans. You can compare methods. It takes a while for everything to kind of load. But so the debt snowball, you'll have total paid 64000 Debt avalanche is 62000 a hybrid. And it tells you the total interest that you paid on all of these, um, how long it will take you, th you know, things like that. Um, the amount of people that are using these plans and um, it kind of explains kind of what they are. Um, <clears throat> I am doing this one right here, which is in between these two and... Um, I want to have it this way because that uh, the way, let's see if I can, oh, dashboard. Okay. I wish that this would disappear so that way I could have the full screen. There we go. <sighs> That was not very helpful computer. Not very helpful at all. Full screen. Okay, so here, the way that I have it, it is going by the least amount for my student loans, the least amount to the highest. And most people, the way that the debt snowball works, it would take my city card, then my consolidated loan, my unsubsidized, and then move up from there and then my MasterCard would be the very last one. Well, the interest rate for the MasterCard is a whole lot higher than the student loans. So I'm not really going based off of interest rates or any of that type of thing. I want to, I, to me, the student loans are not the biggest problem. Yes, they are the majority of my debt, but I want to be able to take the city card and the MasterCard and be completely without any credit cards and only have my student loans out there. And um, because those I have a little bit more time to pay off and I, I, I'm not too concerned about those. Um, but these, I, I, I just, the credit for me I want to get the credit cards paid off so that's where I went into my account summary down here into my account and uh, nope that's not where I went account list and I went into the account yeah here it is and you can put in here uh, the type of account, the balance, the highest balance, the next due date, the monthly payments, the interest rate, calculates the monthly interest, your credit limit, any promotional rates and things like that, and um, then include in here. This is where you had to go and click it off saying, yes, include it in the payoff plan. And then you can say payoff order for custom plans. And this allows you to say 
what order you want it to be in. So I went through and I put mine in my own custom order and that's the way it is working for me. And um, you can just play around with this. It is very, see this one is only for Undeaded Plus members and does it say how much? Um, just the basics is free or you can do $12 per year, which for some people that's not a big thing, but if you're trying to get out of debt, it's kind of, um, I don't know. You can do 52 week challenges and all of this type of stuff. So this undead it kind of helps where every dollar does not. So when you're trying to pay off your debts and every dollar, you have to go in there and man manually update the outstanding balances because it does not calculate in the interest rates, the daily and monthly interest rates and things like that, um, unless you have a 0% interest rate, which I do have a credit card that is a 0% interest rate and that works perfectly fine, but I have one credit card and all of my student loans that have an interest rate and every dollar does not calculate the interest rate into the outstanding balance going from month to month. It would be nice that they did, but they don't. Um, so Undeadit allows you to be able to do that. And go to your dashboard. So what that's where Undeadit allows you to figure out everything, see a payment plan pay your payoff plan, know your debt free date and where you can sh um, see the changes and all of that. So when it comes to the point when I put in a payment for my city card, that's one of the with my tax return, I will come back and give an update on when um, my estimated debt free date will be after that. And um, so I hope everybody enjoyed this. And if you are interested in Looking at Undead It, I will leave the link down below to where you can join. I am not um, getting paid for them or anything like this. It's just one of the tools that I use to figure out my debt-free date and kind of figure out my snowball and uh, really it's to figure out my actual debt-free date. So that way I'm more prepared and have a goal, end goal in mind and trying to race myself and the computer basically because I really would like to have my debts paid off by the time I'm 45. I want to have them paid off by the time I'm 42, but that's a big goal and it's possibly attainable, but I'm not quite sure right now because I'm not, that's calculating in bonuses and things like that. Um, whereas this one where it says November of 2025 does not count in tax returns or bonuses or Christmas money, birthday money, none of that. So at least this way I know that I will most definitely be debt free by the time I am 20, 45. I would like to be it, like it to be earlier, but that's a couple years from about five years from now. So I am just going to continue to plug away at my debt, and I hope you guys continue to join me on my journey. And um, let me know if anybody has paid off any debts, or if they are starting their budget and working on paying off debts, because that is great news. If you are. I will give shout outs to you at when I do my budget videos and things like that because we all need to have that moral support to pay our debts off and I'm very thankful that I um, have great moral support from my mom and my sisters and uh, my grandmother and today on Facebook I posted that I paid off my car and I've so many people have reacted to that, and that's my personal Facebook, that um, they've reacted saying congratulations and they're high-fiving me and things like that. And it's just so great to know that one more thing is paid off. And I want to be able to high-five everybody as they pay off their debts. So please let me know if you have paid off any debts or are working on your budget for 2018. Thank you, everybody, and have a wonderful week.
Bye.